I'll miss James Garner, the U.S. actor who died last week at 86. He made many films, but he was the master of the small screen, uh, TV, especially Maverick, a Western series I loved as a kid, and uh, Rockford, A Private Eye in the 70s. I don't know the secret of acting for TV, but it's different from oversized movies, and it's flourishing in this era of Mad Men and Broadchurch. Part of it was a wry skeptical quality, a raised eyebrow, a squint, sarcasm. It tended to undercut authority figures like cops and conventional views. It was less than outright satire and uh, subtler than direct criticism. In TV's early days, you even found it on the news, like David Brinkley's Arch Asides. Garner brought it to his best film, The Americanization of Emily, uh, that was skeptical about World War II, which has since become an object of almost religious veneration. That note of skepticism is culturally invaluable. Take the outrage over Vladimir Putin's interference in Ukraine. I agree it's been appalling, but what about U.S. interference there and invasions of countries not even on its own borders? A little perspective, please. I'm not saying Garner would have commented, though he was a lifelong liberal. But someone should cock an eyebrow. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.